Greetings all, this is Dickie Adams with PocketNow.com and today we're going to take a closer look at the software on the HTC Vivid from AT&T. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show. As expected with this device, we've got the HTC Sense and the typical ring unlocked functionality here, uh, which you can see uh, still gives you the number of shortcuts that you can modify yourself and customize to your heart's content and does have some notification pieces up here at the top. If we go in here to the home screen view, then as you move across the page, you've got your slide indicator down here, page indicator down here, uh, typical widgets that are available. You've got your all apps button here, which will come back to the phone. And then you've also got the personalized button here, which is also available via the uh, menu here, which uh, all apps and notifications, personalized wallpaper, ringtones, etc. settings. Pulling down the notification bar up at the top gives you the HTC notifications on this side and then if you slide over to this tab then you get your quick settings uh, both are available in landscape and portrait format pretty nice setting uh, functionality although I do wish that it had stock gingerbread on it rather than uh, being forced to uh, use sense there are some nice features of sense but I do miss the ability to have customizable buttons down here without installing a you know, side loading a launcher or installing a launcher from the market such as Go Launcher EX. If we go here into the settings, about phone, then you can see we're running Android 234, which is Gingerbread HD Sense uh, 3.0. The rest of the settings here in the uh, device are pretty standard, nothing too uh, amazing or or different here. You've got your typical display settings so you can lock the device to you know stay on all the time like I've got set now. You still have your personalized options. Wireless and network this is where you can turn on and off the uh, wireless tethering option which I've used on this device uh, with much success. Um, and then you've got your applications, your power, etc, etc, accessibility. Let's go back to the home screen here and go into all apps. If I hit the right button. So, got the typical, once again, HTC Sense slide up and down to go through all of your apps. Some of the apps can be removed, such as this AT&T Family Map app you can actually uninstall, but the AT&T Navigator app you can't un uninstall even though it's a pay-for only style app. So that's a little disappointing there. There is a FM radio capability here, which requires you to use the headphones in order for it to work, because the headphones have to act as the antenna. It's fine. That's just a, an item of note there. And then down here at the bottom, you've got the ability to change your sorting options. So you can change this to your frequent apps, to your downloaded apps, and then back to all apps and then if you go into your settings you can also change a list and share and sort them to your heart's content remove app etc etc one thing we didn't catch on the speed test uh, was a speed test in the hardware app video review and mostly because we don't have the 4G service but I did want to share with you that we, even with the 3G service uh, the, or the quote unquote 4G service that some devices are getting uh, you can see here I got some uh, pretty impressive speeds 55 uh, 41 KB uh, here and then 37 there uh, with upload speeds that are really really nice uh, compared especially compared to a sprint device or a Verizon device on their 4G uh, the, pardon me 3G service these speeds really blow that away other than that I found that with the sense on here even though it's not pure gingerbread moves very very quickly and I haven't had any problems other than an occasional flash where the HTC sense uh, block will appear up and almost like the phone is crashing and I did as mentioned in the hardware review had some uh, phone hiccups where the signal would disappear so let's take a quick look at the camera application here we've got the zoom bar up on this side and on um, over here we've got the shutter and then being able to rotate the camera to front and back and then camera to video 
flash on and off. The kind of nice functionality here is being able to go into this uh, effects window here. There's a lot of interesting effects that can you can apply to a picture as it's being taken. Unfortunately, a lot of these effects cannot be applied after the fact, which would be kind of a neat functionality. If you go into a picture after it's been taken, then you can tap on it and use this magic wand again, but again, it just gives you some effects, but not all the effects that are on the camera, uh, full camera capability. So you can go into vintage or bleak, antique, just some, some interesting kind of Instagram, Instamatic style photo editing capabilities right in the phone that give you a little better shot overall. The image quality on this, as we mentioned in the hardware, is actually pretty good. What I really liked about this camera is that the lens on it's got a really nice aperture, so you can actually get some really uh, nice um, depth of field and uh, a little difficult to see on this particular picture, but there's some, some uh, decent bokeh, but if it gets too, and you'll see these in the final uh, version, it, you look back in this section here on the final uh, image and it, the bokeh really breaks apart very quickly and gets really grainy and, and ugly. And that wraps up our software overview on the HTC Vivid from AT&T. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below and we'll try to cover them in the final review. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd appreciate that. Otherwise, thanks for watching.